This NAB Spotlight is powered by Switcher Studio, a multi-camera, live, video production studio that fits in your pocket. Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas and I am here at NAB 2019 with Ryan from Rode. And I think there's a lot of buzz about the new microphone that you came out, this teeny little thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have tried 2.4 gig, there's been a couple of them out already. You guys have had experience with the, with the larger system, yeah. uh, the Cube Tap, but this new system is just seems really designed for like iOS filmmaking for just the lightest weight possible. Anything that you need, something really quick, you know, on the go filming, that's why we call it the wireless go. Um, so mobile journalism, or even all the way up to pros that just want to be doing things like this, where you need to clip a mic onto somebody really quick. You don't want to do that whole dance of, you know, putting the a wires lamp down their shirt yeah. and belt packing and all that kind of stuff. But of course you can do it. So it's, it's the Rode Wireless Go. So it's the, uh, have you ever seen a mic system so small that it fits into a pouch like this? <laughs> Not the transmitter the and the receiver. And yeah, 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 no. Yeah. So this has everything. Um, now this is the transmitter and we're actually using the Wireless yeah. Go right now. I, I think this, this is the key thing. You know, I've tried to do 2.4 gig before at NAB. It did not work. And both of us are using the Rode 2.4 gig wireless mic at the same time. Two different systems going on the NAB show floor. And you're hearing us through the Rode system right now. So yeah. I think that is really proof of the pudding. Totally, totally. So the Wireless Go is designed to get up to 70 meters of range, line of sight, in normal, you know, good conditions where you'd be on a regular shoot. Right. In a really hostile wireless environment, like a trade show, this is yeah. probably the worst place in the world that you <laughs> could use a wireless system. It is. Um, but it's designed to be able to hop frequencies very fast all, the, all by itself right. uh, in environments like this so that you have a, a solid connection. So. Now, in terms of the receiver, do, is there a way that you got to aim it, or like, is there a particular face that you know it's receptive? Basically, the way that the, the receiver is designed is it's got a clip on the back here, so you can mount it onto a sound bag or mount it onto your camera. You're always going to get the best results if you have it mounted upright on your camera, aiming forwards like this, or yeah. outwards, you know, on a uh, right. On so a that's where bag. the antenna. You don't want to have the yeah. electronics blocking the antenna. No, but I mean, ultimately, they are you know kind of radiating all around. Right. I mean, you could walk around the whole system, but for the best results. And yes. that, that's true for most wireless systems. You want to be on the side where the antennas are, and those are on the front. Right, the, right, right. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, you were saying the clip, but also uh, we're using a, uh, a little mixer here to mix our two mics yeah. together. Yeah, and the clip is actually designed to fit in a hot or cold shoe. Exactly right. So it's, it's a really clever design where we wanted to keep this thing as small and compact as possible. So both the transmitter and receiver have the same clip, but as you said, that clip is the perfect dimensions for an accessory shoe. You just slide it in and I mean, it's it makes solid. it so easy. It's like, you know, twist it in. Exactly, You're just like, yeah. shoot, done. Yeah, exactly right. And I mean, describe the weight of this thing to these guys. It's 31 grams, it weighs nothing. I, I, right? it, you almost don't even know it's there. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So, and the, the reason that we ended up uh, uh, landing on the design that we did with this unit that has the lav inbuilt is because it is so compact that for run and gun shooting you can literally use the inbuilt lav on the transmitter clip it straight under your shirt like we're using right now or you can belt pack mount it and you've got an external 3.5 lav input that provides plug-in power right. and it doesn't deplete the battery life any faster using an external lav to using the internal lav because when you plug it in it defeats the internal lav right. which also uses plug-in power internally on the unit. Right. Uh, what's the run time? So you get up to seven hours of use on one charge. Okay. It's got, an it's got a USB-C for charging. Yeah. Um, is it road, lav, only or no, any any standard 3.5 mil TRS jack lav will work fine with this. So oh, okay. standard wiring, as in you've got your hot pins on the the tip and ring, and then the sleeve is the ground. So right. as long as you've got that. So even if you're using uh, you know video mics like the Rode Video Micro or Video Mic Go, you can literally plug it into this unit and have that wireless if you want on the end of a right, boom pole right. or whatever. So. That is, I mean, in a nutshell, it's got this little LCD screen on the top. Yeah. I mean, what is it? I mean, we're not, this one's not on. I mean, the one yeah. I, uh, that, that's on. So what does the LCD show us? I'll show you. So let's turn this guy on. Now, out of the box, these units will pair automatically. They're already paired to one another. You've got to press and hold the power to turn it on or to turn it off so that you don't accidentally bump it and turn them off. 
And you can see here on this unit, one, two, three, I've got high resolution metering running. It shows the receiver and the transmitter battery life. Wow. You basically control the whole system from the receiver, but it's so simple that there's almost nothing to control apart from your output level and your link. So then you've got a three stage output gain that you can switch so that you can match the camera or device that you're plugging it into. Right. Some cameras these days have a really hot input gain. Right, right. And to be able to you know, actually use an external wireless system, you need to be able to attenuate that down enough. Other right. cameras maybe require a nice hot output level. Or, or if it's some device. DSLRs, you know, Jake, listen, you want the internal gain as low as exactly possible. Right. You get a, yeah. So you want to feed it a hot signal. Yeah, exactly right. So the, the maximum output gain on this unit is actually plus three dBU. So it's a really, really hot level okay. when you've got it at the high gain. Right. So you can get, you know, even like a, an older Canon 5D Mark II, which had right. a really noisy pre, you can turn that all the way down to like one, and right. then have this on medium gain and you've still got plenty of gain. But oh, if you're good, using good. a GH5 or something, you can bump this down to the lowest gain setting and you've got you know plenty of- Lots of range to adjust exactly. it. Okay, yeah. very cool. Yeah. So this is the biggest announcement, but a lot of people in the mobile production community are also really talking a lot about this Roadcaster Pro. Yes. I mean, this is, this is very slick. There's a lot of features specifically for, I mean, you're saying podcasting, but I find in the, you know, multi-camera live streaming capability. Yes, this does. Uh, this is getting a lot of buzz as well. Specifically, you know, because of the both the Bluetooth and the wired mix minus. Yep. And you guys just released an update for this. Yeah, we did. So, so just to give a, a brief overview of the Rodecast Pro, this is the most complete podcasting studio pretty much available on the market anywhere at the moment. It integrates a fully functional mixer, loads of digital signal processing that would normally you know, be a stack of different pieces of gear. Um, you've got a multi-track USB interface. You've got two channels of telephone hybrids, which is the system that you normally needed to use in traditional radio production to right, be able right. to take a call and have the whole mix of the radio. Yeah, show I've, go I've to used the my caller. share of I think they're JK Audio. JK, yeah, yeah, and it's a great, it's a great unit. The telephone hybrids that they make. Yeah. Uh, but with this unit, it does it for you, and you literally link up via Bluetooth or with a TRRS cable. It has a sample player so that you can play back sounds, things, jingles. It's got a four-channel headphone amp. It's got a dedicated main output, so if, even if you're using it at live events where you want to do a presentation right, and right. you want to have it going out to speakers, you can do that. And literally, it's all in this one pack that is five ninety nine US dollars. So yeah, it's like I mean, it's a, it's well a, it's a lot of functionality. Yeah, and then you've got the solo buttons on the bottom, so yeah. like a real mixer. You're like you're hearing a little bit of noise. Which one is that coming in exactly. on? Exactly. Yeah, and the nice yeah. thing about that is that headphone channel one has an, an output on the on the back here and also a little three point five on the front. On the front. And and the headphone one channel will actually be the only one that can hear the solos and uh, as you go through if you want to listen to each channel. Right. And that's by design so that if you've got guests on your show, they don't all of a sudden, you know, forget hearing everybody else. And if, if you've soloed a channel, you're the only one that's hearing it as the host right. of the show. On so the channel one. one's the engineer yeah. headphone. And the other channels is, are great so that if you're doing something where you've got a caller, but you don't want the caller to go back into the mics. Exactly. So everybody's wearing headsets and yep. everybody can have a their own level. So that exactly. I think is really nice too. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, somebody is like, no, 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 turn mine down. But somebody else is hard to hear and it's like, oh, no, no, you got to crank it all the way up. Yeah, exactly. So that is a really interesting functionality is like the four discrete volume outputs so, and then obviously the mix minus too so the callers don't hear themselves exactly and that's what a mix minus is it sends you the whole mix of the entire podcast except for your own channel going in right and that's something that it, anyone who's tried to set this up before without <laughs> a device like this will know that the caller is getting a, a direct echo of their own voice and it's just impossible yeah, to, to be able to speak when it's, yeah, it's so hard because I've worked I've worked doing that and it's like you start talking uh, yeah uh, and I can't <laughs> it speak. slows you down yeah it's this weird psychoacoustical <laughs> thing that happens so and one of the the recent updates oh and don't forget it also has a built-in recorder so you just press the record button here you record directly to the micro SD card and you can record your whole podcast or radio production or live stream direct to the SD card as well. So is that master stereo or is that all channels? So it's a at, at the moment it's a master stereo mix that records to this unit. Okay. Now the really cool thing about the Rodecaster Pro is that it's firmware updatable and since its release we've already released 
multiple firmware updates that added a whole bunch of functionality. And yeah. we're going to continue to do that. So people that own the Rodecaster Pro, it's only getting better every single month when we bring out new firmware updates. The most recent firmware updates actually enable multi-channel recording over USB. Right. The way that works is it creates a secondary interface that has all of the 14 inputs. So you get the main mix from the stereo out. Right. Then you get all of the mono channels for the four here, and then right. you get the stereo channels for the USB input, the mobile device, the Bluetooth, and then the sound right. player. So if you are someone who did want to have total isolation, everything yeah. in there, you just hook up a laptop to the USB interface exactly. and you're ingesting all the ISOs. And the nice thing is that even though the main mix is always giving you the fully mixed version with all of the effects processing on, you can even choose to isolate the tracks without effects when you record them to the multi-channel. Oh, so you can get okay. the dry channels and right. it's all pre-fader. So even if you've accidentally had your mix wrong where one person was a bit quiet, in post-production, because you've recorded the multi-channel mix, it has everything directly from the preamps. So it's all at the proper gain level. You can mix it then however you like. Excellent, excellent. Well, that seems that plus the new microphones, I yep. think, are excellent tools for both mobile and more studio-based production. I think Rode is re really doing a fantastic job this year. Oh, thank you, man. Our, our, our design team are all working very hard, so thanks so thank much for coming by. I really appreciate you guys uh, putting this together. We're here at NAB 2019 here. Ryan with Rode for Streaming Media Producer. My name is Anthony Barocas. Thanks for watching. This NAB Spotlight is powered by Switcher Studio, a multi-camera, live, video production studio that fits in your pocket.